Welcome to All Work Phone Training provided by Wheelhouse Solutions. My name is Marty and today we are going to be talking about phone preference settings. So when you're looking at your home screen, your idle screen, when you're not on a phone call, I just wanted to uh, recap some things that we've showed you in previous videos. Remember you have these call appearances on your main screen. You also have may have some blank or available programmable buttons. Or to remember your soft key options at the bottom with the more button off to the right. And so when you press that more button, it gives you more options across the bottom of the screen. So notice where before you had part calls, calls, and redial. Now you see settings and sleep. And so the reason why we're going through this is because the topic of this video is basic setting changes on your phone. And so in order to do that, you're going to press that more button and then go into settings, press the settings soft key. From there, you're going to use your navigation, uh, the up and down select button to scroll down to phone preferences and then hit the center select button. And once you're in there is where you will see all the different pre preferences and these preferences are broken up into categories. And so we're going to start off with preferences for buttons and notifications. So the first one you see there at the top is your messages button. And so this allows you to uh, make changes to how that button works. Or if you recall in previous training, by default, if you press the messages button once, it will take you to the visual, the on-screen access to voicemails. Whereas if you press it twice, it'll take you to the more traditional uh, voicemail access. And so if you wanted to change how that button worked, you can by going into that button and, and making those adjustments. The next uh, option is visual on call. And so this allows you to change a setting by default, whenever you are on a phone call, your light at the very top of your phone will be solid red to show that you're on a call. If you wanted to disable that, you could in the visual on call. And very similar to that, the visual ringing, when your phone is ringing, that light at the very top of your phone will blink. The visual indicator will blink to let you know that your phone is ringing. If you wanted to disable that, you could. And now we're gonna get into another section called call handling. The very first option there is auto answer. This is disabled by default and would rarely be used, but in the case where you want your phone to automatically answer when a call is coming in, you could enable this feature. Again, it's not something that's very common, so you would wanna be careful using that. The next option is auto on hold. And so this is uh, enabled by default and it's a very handy feature. Basically, when you're on a call and you go to answer a second incoming call or a, a third incoming call, uh, the first call will automatically be placed on hold when you answer the next call. So if you're on one call and a second call comes in, you can press the ringing call appearance and the first call appearance that you're on will automatically go on hold. The auto retrieve calls is disabled by default, but if you enable it, what happens is, is if you have a call on hold and you lift the handset off the hook, it will automatically pick up that call off of hold. And so again, this is disabled by default, and but you can enable that. All right, we're gonna continue with call handling and talk about caller ID preferences. So caller ID preferences, uh, it displays information about the caller ID and you can, you can adjust that slightly. By default, you're gonna see the calling party's information, but you can change that to see more information about the line that that person is calling in on. Of course, that would not allow you to see the caller ID of the the calling parties. All right, the next one is intercom auto answer. And so what happens with this is we explain this in the training video where we describe the buttons and the intercom button. But uh, when you dial someone's extension, their phone rings by looking at their presence and normal in office default presence would ring four times and then go to voicemail. Whereas if you intercom someone, their phone just beeps until they answer. That's the default setting is, is, so if someone is intercoming you, your phone will beep until either you answer or they hang up. And that's only an internal person can, can intercom you. Well, this intercom auto answer, uh, we typically will only enable this like in a kitchen or some, an environment like that to where anybody could intercom into the kitchen, the phone would beep twice and then person uh, intercoming into the kitchen could call out into the kitchen and say, hello, is, is so-and-so there? without anyone having to get up and pick up that intercom call. So intercom auto answer is a very handy feature. Again, we default, we disabled that by default on every phone, 
but you can turn that on. Again, a good, good example is like in a kitchen or a break room. All right, off hook auto answer. So this is enabled by default and simply means your phone is ringing, you lift the, the handset off the hook and you're gonna answer the ringing call. So again, this is enabled by default. Some people choose to disable that and then it forces you to lift the handset and then press the call appearance of the ringing button that you want to answer. So if you wanted to adjust that to make it work that way, you absolutely could. The next one is off hook ringing. So this means when you're on one phone call, do you want your phone to ring out loud when you receive a second phone call? So by default, this is disabled. And so if you're on one phone call, the only way to know a second phone call is coming in is by seeing it on the screen. So a lot of people will choose to change this setting so that they are notified when a second call is coming in. All right, the last option there under call handling is pages received. So by default, you are going to receive pages whenever someone is paging you, unless your phone is in do not disturb. But when your phone is in normal in office mode and someone is uh, paging, you will receive that page out of your phone. And the, the default is if you're on a phone call, the page will not come out of the phone. And so if you wanted to always receive pages, regardless of whether or not you're on a phone call, you could go in and adjust that setting. All right, the next section we're gonna get into here is called call tracking. And the first option is call history size. So this is whenever you press the calls button on your phone and you can go back and scroll through call history. The default call history is 99, but you can have up to 200 of your last sent and received calls in your call log if you chose to increase that. And you could bring it all the way down to zero. Missed call tracking basically uh, tracks missed calls. So when you someone tries to reach you and you don't answer, it will show on your screen a little picture of a phone with a number to show how many missed calls you have. If you wanted to disable that, you could using that feature. All right, our next section in phone preferences is dialing. And so the first option here is audible dialing. And basically that means you're gonna hear tones when you're pressing keys. And this is enabled by default, of course, but if you did not want to have those audible tones whenever you're dialing, you could disable that. The next option is cell phone dialing. And so uh, what happens with the AllWorks is when you go to make a phone call, if you dial nine and then start dialing a number and you make a mistake, you have to hang up and get another dial tone and start over. Uh, whereas on your cell phone, if you're uh, used to using a, a cell phone, you can dial some digits and then you can set your phone down, come back an hour later and continue to dial. It doesn't actually dial until you hit the send button. So you could toggle the setting on the AllWorks Verge phone to where it acts more like a cell phone and it's called cell phone dialing in that you could dial some numbers. If you make a mistake, you can erase one or two, you know, or the last, you know, everything you typed in and correct it and then when you're ready to actually have it dial you hit the little phone icon in the screen and it will dial the number so that is cell phone dialing so on hook dialing is enabled by default and what that means is if you're at an idle phone and you start typing numbers the speakerphone will automatically come on and so if you disable that then you would actually have to either lift the receiver or uh, press the speakerphone in order to start dialing all right, so under the next section, display, the call timer display. When you're on a phone call, this displays the length of time that you've been on that phone call. It's enabled by default, but you could disable that if you wanted to. All right, the next feature we're gonna highlight here is clock mode. And so this displays how you want your clock to show up on your display. You can either the default is a 12 hour clock. So it's basically AM and PM, or you could have a 24 hour clock or military time, or you could actually turn the clock off if you chose. The next setting here is the contact sort order or the contact order. And so what that does is it allows you to change how contacts are sorted either by first name and then last name or the default of course is last name then by first name. The display brightness, so you can change the how bright your display is. You can adjust that. The default, it's set at 50%, but if you want the brightness to, to be a little lower, you could go in and adjust this setting as well. The sleep mode timeout. 
So you may have noticed that if your phone sits there for a few minutes, it will go to a darker screen and kind of move the screen around, kind of a screensaver. Uh, if you wanted to adjust the amount of time that it, your phone will remain idle before it goes into this, this sleep mode, you could adjust that. And it's, the default is 10 minutes, and you can set it from anywhere between 1 to 720 minutes. All right, uh, under personal contacts, so you can make changes to how your personal contacts are showed uh, and whether or not you can see uh, restricted contacts. Basically, uh, when you go into contacts, anything that you personally stored in your phone is a restricted contact. And so uh, if you don't want anyone to be able to see those contacts without knowing your voicemail pin, you could set this to restricted. The next section we're going to talk about is sound and notifications. And so there is a call waiting tone. Whenever you're receiving a second call, you could have a tone in your ear to let you know that you were receiving a, a phone call. So you could enable that. All right, our next section is phone preferences, sound and notifications. And so when you are using a headset, you can make some changes to how that headset works. Now, this concept uh, that you see the second one there called EHS, that is enhanced handset. And so you have to have a, a cordless headset that is EHS compatible and only some of the newest uh, headsets are EHS compatible. And what that means is, is if you are not at your desk, but you're on a phone call talking on a Bluetooth headset, you won't know that a second call is coming in unless you have a headset that is EHS compatible and then the AllWorks phone can signal your Bluetooth headset that a second call is coming in so it can beep in your ear. So these allow you to adjust some of those settings. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope this video has been helpful.